Obtainium, Odin, tools, software updates, and even a look at my case. Let's check it all out. Hey everyone, thanks for stopping by. This is Retro Fun Tech. So I have a more technical video for you today. We will be talking about a couple apps that I recommend because they make your life a little easier once you have them installed, Obtanium and Odin Tools. Also, we will go over the latest software update and I recently picked up a case for this device, so I just wanted to show it off. Now, before we start, I would highly recommend that you download YouTube on your Odin 2. It will make following this video a little easier when you go to install the apps and also a script that helps one of those apps. So pause the video and throw YouTube on your device and then navigate to this video. All right, we have a lot to go over, so let's jump in. Before we get into all the technical stuff of this video, I wanted to show you the case that I got for my Odin 2. A few weeks ago, I went on vacation with my family and ended up taking my Odin 2 because it's just a magical beast that does it all. I picked up this case for my device. This is the case that Ian has on their website, which is one of the links below. I got my case from AliExpress, but then of course a similar case popped up recently on Amazon, which is also linked in the description below. It's the same price and you will get it a lot faster than I did. So that's why I recommend Amazon. The outside is a very nice sturdy shell that protects the device. The word ion is in the middle, but it's not too flashy. On the inside of mine, there isn't any room for cords, which is a little sad, but it's really nice and fuzzy and seems to protect the device really well. But the case on Amazon seems to have a pocket for cords. This case held up to many airports, travel craziness, several TSA agents, and even my seven-year-old son. So if you don't have a case for your Odin 2, this is one of the good options out there. So there have been two software updates that came through on the Odin 2 since I got it. Now, one thing I will mention is that if you aren't familiar with Android, you will need to go through each update individually to get to the next one. So just make sure that you have the updates notification on so that you will know when the next update is. I am briefly showing you the previous update, the current update, what they fixed, changed, and then just a tiny glimpse of how easy it is to update your device. So one of the things that you may start to understand with these Android handhelds is that there's a bit of sideloading of apps involved. That's because some of the best apps or emulators out there are not actually in the Google Play Store. So you have to get creative and find them elsewhere. Now knowing this, here is where Obtanium comes in. What is so special about Obtanium, you might ask? This app is awesome because it takes all those sideloaded emulator apps, downloads them for you, keeps them up to date, and also notifies you when there is a new update for one of those apps. Pretty cool, right? Let's install it. Okay, so remember at the beginning of the video where I said you should download YouTube on your Odin 2 and then go to this video? Here's where it comes into play. So we need to go to the Obtanium GitHub page to install the app. Whether you want to do this on your device and make it easy, or throw it on a computer and then move the APK over to your Odin 2, it's up to you. So in the description below, click on the Obtanium GitHub page. Once you are on the GitHub page, scroll down a little and look on the right side for the Releases section. Click Releases, and at the top should be the most recent release. Scroll past the What's Changed info until you find the Assets section. Now you are looking for the ARM64 release APK. I know, don't get scared. The version may change over time, but once you see ARM64, the file you need will end in release.apk. Click on that and it will install the app. Follow along on the screen if you get any weird warnings. Now once Obtanium is installed, here is where it would be super helpful to be on your device on YouTube watching this video. So go to the video and in the links in the description below, click on the link that says Obtanium Magical Update Script. This will take you to another GitHub page. 
Once you are there, you will see the link for the script, but don't click on that. Move over to the right where it says raw, and then long press down on that. In the menu that will pop up, scroll down until you see download link and select that. Wait for it to download and you are good. Now, go back to Obtanium and open that app. And the reason that I said you want to do this on your device is we are going to set up a Obtanium. So you can just simply click on the import and export button, then select Obtanium import. Now it will take you to your files and you just want to select that JSON file. It will take a moment and then it will say it imported seven apps. Click the apps on the bottom left and you can see what apps it has for you to download. Now here you can download any and all of these on your Odin. If you have already downloaded any of these apps from the Google Play Store, especially Yuzu, you might want to consider uninstalling it and using this version. Obtanium will download the latest release from the Yuzu GitHub and you don't have to go wandering around to find it. It's simply right here. Along with that, when an app like Yuzu is updated on their GitHub page, you will be notified so that you can download the latest version of it. That's why I clicked on allow notifications for this app. So yeah, that is Obtanium. Now before we move on, make sure you download the Odin tools for the next section and have that open. Odin tools. Now you don't necessarily have to download Odin tools from Obtanium. So if you skipped installing Obtanium, simply click the link in the description below and it's as simple as throwing the APK file on your Odin or sideloading it and then clicking install. So either way that you installed Odin tools, you should now have it on your device. Now let's check the app out. In Odin tools, you have quite a few things that you can customize here. The neat thing is this app helps you customize these and really makes it simple. App overrides. Here you can select an app and change the controller style, your triggers, what performance mode, and fan mode for each emulator. This app simplifies it and it's really nice. Otherwise, for each different emulator app, you would have to go into a bunch of different settings in the emulator and then on the device to get everything set the way that you want it to be. Going back to the main screen of Odin Tools, you can see the rest of the features that it has. Override delay, controller quick settings, button settings, display saturation, and even vibration and haptics. Also, if you go into the notification menu when you pull it down, you can click on the pencil icon and edit your notifications. You can add Odin tools, the controller style, and and the switch for the tr triggers that says L2, R2. So that's pretty handy because you can always go into your notifications and pull that down while you're in a specific app instead of going back into Odin tools. So there you go. Odin tools is a pretty neat little app that I've become a quick fan of. I like when things can be simplified, and I hope that you do too. So that's going to wrap up this video. Let me know in the comments below if you are using Obtanium or Odin tools, and if you picked up a case for your device. As always, be sure to like, subscribe, and even share this video with someone who has an Odin 2 or is thinking about getting one. Stay awesome everyone, and go play some games.